Thousands of marine birds come to these coasts to take advantage of its biological potential. A long expanse of South African coastline, particularly in the Cape region, makes her part of the country's network of preserves and national parks. The marine birds not only feed on its coastline, but many also come here to raise their young under the protection of the national preserve. More than 10 species of terns can be observed in the Cape area. Some of them, such as the different coastal seagulls, are characteristics of sub-Antarctic regions and arrive at the Cape seasonally, marking the northern ceiling of their distribution. The beaches are a meeting place for many marine birds. It is easy to find food in the sand. The tide brings dead fish, crustaceans and mollusks from the sea, and among the algae, isopods and amphipods, those known as ocean fleas, are found by the millions. Simply moving the dead algae, a feast appears before the eyes of this harlab seagull. Otter from the Cape looks for crustaceans in the shoals of the Tsitsukikama National Park, one of the natural spaces protected inside the Cape Four region. Despite the variety and importance of the different animal species which populate the entire region, in the regional endemism center or Finbos, plants are the real stars. While in the northern hemisphere, glaciations destroyed many vegetable species up to only 10,000 years ago, there have been no glaciations in this region in the last 115 million years. This climatic stability, together with the rough topology, have made possible the uninterrupted development and the exceptional richness of the vegetable life at Finbos. Despite its reduced size, the Cape Floral Kingdom shelters more than 8,500 species of angiosperm, plants with flowers, 6,000 of which are endemic. To get an idea of this botanical wealth, simply compare the 400 species per 10,000 square kilometers of the Amazon jungle with Finbos's 1,300 species in the same amount of space. While the climate prevented the extinction of species for millions of years, scarcely 500 years of contact with man have put many endemisms in danger to the extent that they could disappear without being discovered. In the Cape Floral region, more than 1,400 vegetable species are in danger, and another 26 have already become extinct. Like the plants, the animals in the Cape region, many of them endemisms closely linked to the exclusive vegetation, suffered with the arrival of the Europeans. In 1652, the Dutchman Jan van Riebeck was amazed by the abundance of wildlife in the region. Since then, lions, elephants, rhinoceri and hippopotami have disappeared from the coastal plains, and other mammals such as the quagga zebra and the blue antelope have become extinct. In the national parks in this floral kingdom, the last specimens of some of the most threatened animals in South Africa are recovering slowly. The Damalisca osprey has always lived confined to the southwestern zone of the Cape, separated from another subspecies, the white-foreheaded Damaliscus, by the Karoo Desert. It has never been a numerous animal, but at the beginning of the 19th century, the government started to protect it, foreseeing its imminent disappearance. Thanks to the actions taken then, and to those of ranchers such as Alexander de Bill, who in 1864 fenced in an extensive area with 300 specimens inside, this eagle, while scarce, is still alive today.
The South African mountain zebra, the smallest and scarcest African zebra subspecies, was also saved from becoming extinct in the Mountain Zebra National Park, where there were barely 13 live specimens. Like the Damaliscus ospreys, mountain zebras owe their survival to the vegetable environment surrounding them. In this case, an environment which is just as threatened and fragile as themselves. The word finbos is a Dutch word which means small bramble and describes the typical shrubs with narrow leaves and thin branches that characterize the shape of many plants in this region. In finbos, flowering plants can be found year-round. For many insects, particularly some coleopteron which feed on petals, the Cape Floral Kingdom is an inexhaustible pantry, albeit one which no one is willing to share with its neighbors.